That's the best. Best advice. Best advice. So yeah, I think it was that, just working out. And my best advice to you is find something you're really passionate in. Find something you really enjoy because we spend so much time working. And if you don't like it, you're going to be miserable. So find something that you really, really enjoy and then you'll not do a day's work in your life. But I find so many people, and another thing which may surprise you, I've got a lot of really, really miserable, rich pals. Everybody thinks it's the money that makes you happy. Well, I must tell you, it doesn't make these folk happy. They're miserable. <laughs> and you've got to find, and listen, there is no problem. My first material goal, as I call it, was a red Porsche. I wanted this car, and that's why I worked hard and got up six in the morning and didn't finish the midnight selling my shoes, because I wanted this car. And that's great. But once you get, and once you've accumulated it, that isn't actually what it's all about. It's a means to do something else. With it. And then you can do whatever you want. If you want to buy a football club, if you want to give it to charity, whatever you want to do is fine. But it isn't actually the money itself. <coughs> Any more questions for Fifth Year? If you were a businessman, what line of work would you be in? Teacher. That's actually what I want to do. Um, I want to... Come um, teach you. What's that? Come teach you. <laughs> I actually do want to um, go and lecture um, I can't do it yet, um, I'm a bit busy, but that is what I want to do. Does that surprise you? Mm -hmm. Anne? So what is it you want to do? Me? Yeah. Police. Sorry? Police. Police. That's the man there to speak to. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. Who's that? Keep going, I love the question, so keep... I'm quite happy to keep going if you have. What's your name? I'm Diane. Do you feel like you like the game? Would you make any changes? No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> no, I, I don't think you can live your life going back. You just got to. The, the change that I want to make, I want to make tomorrow, not yesterday. You know? Glib answer, but it's true. More questions for Kofia? <laughs> I think this is going to be a hard question. <laughs> it would be if it wasn't a plan. But anyway, uh, how would you say business has changed from when you first started? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> well, being a retailer, uh, when I first started, there, there, wasn't, uh, there wasn't websites, uh, there wasn't e commerce, there wasn't Facebook any of these things. Um, so I suppose that's the biggest change for me being a retailer is now the speed that you guys get to know and the knowledge that you can glean off the internet about products, where you can buy them. You know, now that's a, just like anything in life, you can treat it as an opportunity or a threat. I think it's an opportunity. You know, we, we ship all over the world from our warehouse in Ayrshire. It's great. We can do that. But the guy in China can also ship into Ayrshire. You know, so we've got to constantly be better than him. You know, so it gives me a worldwide opportunity, but there's a lot more people in it. So I think the internet and e-commerce is the biggest thing that's changed from being a retailer. Unfortunately, we're having to be very conscious of time. Come on, just give me a couple more. <laughs> Come on. I don't get this chance too often. <laughs> What's your name? And what's your face? Um, you stayed in Scotland um, for the sake of your kids' education. Have you ever thought about emigrating? <laughs> um, I did think about emigrating. Um, when I got the big cheque, um, I could have went to um, Monaco and saved the tax. Um, and I remember flying back from there and my wife, uh, and she's the brains of the outfit, She's from a council house in Stevenson. And she said to me, Tom, what are you doing? And I'm saying, well, I'm working out how many nights I can be in the UK without paying the tax. 
And she said, no, nah, we're not doing this. I want to bring my kids up to Scotland. It's got the best education in the world. And money is not going to make us a prisoner. And that was, a, that was another great piece of advice. Um, so I thought about it. She didn't. Eh? And as I say, she's the brain. So um, it was the best decision we made. Because hopefully the kids are kind of normal. <laughs> you never know, do you? Um, but um, hopefully they're, they're kind of normal, got some values, understand what it's about, and um, paid the tax, and proud to pay the tax. Any questions for Matthew? One more, in the front row. Who are inspirations? Who are my inspirations? Um, change through time. Um, I was, I was really, um, still am, but Rupert Murdoch, the guy who's come up with Sky TV, owns the Times, Sunday Times, News of the World, Sun. So he was, uh, he was inspirational because.